mission. Okay. Free mission. We've got sidecars um, coming. More announcements to give you later on. As I said earlier on, I hope you enjoyed the coverage. It's been always a pleasure since coming to this circuit for the first time in my 30 year commentary. Seven. Uh, and uh, what a place it is. And the Two. paddock, as I said previously, absolutely chocker. And that yeah. proves how well the club the are fondly admired uh, by riders and indeed you, the spectators, for you your to get terrific down. attendance. Well, last time out, it was a close, close finish for the sidecars. The Cunliffe boys got the victory. Gary Knight closed in on the uh, latter stages. Great to see Gary Knight here at the circuit. Remember, Gary, uh, as a club racer, went on to the world stage. Uh, his, his son, Dan, did the JRA championships in the days of the James Tolbert, Steve Brogan era. And then he went. they went sidecar racing together as a father and son team. But uh, this year, uh, they have quite a net one for Dan to do his own outright uh, racing. However, in this one, we've got the great attrition of sidecars. And of course, in the points this year, it's the Hawkswells who are in the lead. We've got the, the birthday lad, of course, in the sidecar of the number uh, 14, Anthony Harrison. Her birthday on the 8th of July, 54. He'll knock on in years. Is and again, we're delighted that we've got more and more sidecars now beginning to join in the atmosphere and fun here in this place. We're coming under orders then. Are oh, the Cummins going to get a double victory? They won three in the first round this year. They're on the way. They're on the way then for the eight laps in the Brian Glover sidecar sponsored F1 and F2. Remember that uh, Gary Wilson is on the Craig Oxwell outfit, which has uh, won numerous races around this circuit, and I don't doubt it will continue in August when Craig will be occupying the hot seat of his own sidecar again with his daughter on board. That outfit's fourth at the end of the lap one, though. The Knights have got a, the Knights are having done it from the word go, are they? They've got right to the front of the field. Charlie Murphy goes into second, passes the Cummins brothers. So the Cummins there, who uh, went to glory in that earlier race, are going to have a tougher job to defend it this time with the performance of the class act in the world of Gary Knight. Like a good guy, Gary Knight. Sure, the same name with me. So remember with one arm. We've got Tapo out there at the back of the field, Dick Tapkin. And Paddy's is the 40. 63 to raise down. The ball from the door. The ball from the door. Place by 
the novice jacket team and let's not forget this is their first first attempt at this circuit uh, as a team in, in the start track. And that indeed is Mark Berry, the driver of number 48, passengered by Adam Hillman, who shares the same um, uh, humorous eyes as Adam. And Adam from the family that uh, officiate here as well, tucks his body down. He's a good James Bond lover, and I love James Bond, and Adam shares the same passion. And that outfit's getting closer, oh, that outfit's getting closer. Gary Wilson had a flat tail, the furniture man, he's closing in on the newcomer combination. Mark Berry, that other, other likeable guy. Mark Berry, that unique beard on his face. Uh, Mark Berry has that unique beard on his face. And the, uh, the, uh, earring stuff in his nose, as I call it. Cracky Chaser, now look at this! This is going to be absolutely brilliant! The yellow versus the red outfit. Wilson's got the better line, there's a gap there, he's going to have a crack at it. Oh, beautiful maneuver! Oh, the newcomers are absolutely flying! That is amazing, that's going to be the newcomer performance of the day, in my view. The number 48 and Mark Berry. The yellow outfit, number 48, 41 year old Mark Barry, passing by the 28 year old Adam Milburn. And Adam works in engineering in Dad's company. Um, 